Okay, hey everyone. So what we're gonna be working on today is filling out our color wheel. I have already mixed my orange, my um, yellow orange, and my red orange, my green, my yellow green, and blue green. And I sprayed a little bit of water on them so that they wouldn't dry out. Um, and one of the things I'm going to just briefly touch on with this particular video is this is some really old paint that I have. Um, and I'm going to be using fluid matte medium, even though it's not a golden paint, um, it's a matte paint, it dries really matte. And so I am going to use this fluid matte medium mix in here, which I had to do over here. I had to mix the blue with blue fluid matte medium, but I thought I would uh, you know, save this one, uh, the purple, so that I could cut the hardened blue paint with this fluid matte medium. So, so I'm just going to use my palette knife to mix in this blue and I will be putting the colors that I used down in the description box. So and my stuff is so old and so hard but it's a decent color so um, the colors that I initially had hoped to use were gold and liquid but I don't know where I don't know where those tubes are rather bottles are. So it's still pretty hard. I'm gonna add a little bit of fluid matte medium to it. Sorry for all the motion. My phone. I don't want to dilute the color too much. I just want to soften it. But it is, like I said, pretty old and a little tough. But it's loosening up now. And again, I could have used um, the extra matte that Golden makes. I think that would have been really great for this particular brand of paint. Oops. I probably could have used like a red, well, I have to purple. I then have to make a red, purple, and it'll probably look like that. I'm going to use the same amount of red paint. Sometimes you may have to adjust, like with the yellow. Um, or when you have a lighter color that you're mixing in, you may have to adjust it a little bit so that it's not too heavily on the darker paint, darker hue side. Like when I was making the green, I actually had to add a little bit more yellow to balance out the darkness of the, of the blue. So I think it's pretty soft. And even consistency. There are still a couple of lumps in there, but for the most part, I'm just going to scoop all this into one pile and I'm gonna lay down some red paint so that we can get some purple.
So I actually had to add a little bit more blue to get the purple that I really wanted. It's a little reddish, so I'll just add a little bit more blue. Now this red is pretty powerful. So I am now going to mix a little bit of looks like half and half of purple or violet and my blue. And of course I have this, I should have broken the blue down first, but why it's so blurry. This is my blue purple. This is that. Your green. Be careful. I'm just going to wipe off and kind of do the red and violet now. All right, so let's do this last little bit. The red violet. Okay, so I've already started the color wheel here, and um, I'm just going to be using my palette knife, actually. So I'm going to clean that off, and then I'll be right back. A little bit better light with my colors. Orange, red orange is barely any different. You might have to make okay. And here's our color wheel. So we have our primary colors. So red and blue make purple. Purple or violet. Okay. Oh. So now blue and yellow give us green.
All right, so here's our color wheel. It's kind of hard to see the purples and stuff. But um, yeah, my arm really got tired holding the phone up. I'm gonna stop this video and then when we come back. Um, we're gonna work on uh, tints, tones, and shades. All right. Well, you know what, just to go over it, um, again, our primary colors we started with are yellow, blue, and red. And to be specific, this is a lemon yellow. Red is a carmine yellow, I mean blue, <laughs> carmine red. And then my blue is a cobalt blue. So it did, it turned out pretty all right. Um, the colors that I had originally were all primary, were like primary red, primary blue, primary yellow. But um, I think this one turned out okay. Again, I used my palette knife. You can see all that texture. So when you add your primary colors, when you mix yellow and blue, you get green, pretty decent green. And then when you mix yellow and red, you get orange. It's kind of hard to see on the on the camera, but our red is here. And then mix it with yellow and you get an orange. And then you mix your red with your blue to get your violet. Those are your secondary colors, those are your tertiary colors. You gotta take your secondary color, add your blue. So violet plus blue gives you blue violet. And then you go violet and red gives you violet red. Red and orange gives you red orange. Orange and yellow gives you yellow orange. Yellow and green gives you yellow green. And blue and green gives you blue green. Oops, maybe it kind of doing a little bit of a difference, but orange here, red there. I may touch it up a little bit. It looks different in person, but it's not really picking up very well on the camera. So again, thanks for watching and we'll be back with another video on shade tone.